It looks like it's been one of the biggest tides of the year. It's been an immense rough sea. So let's head out fossil hunting and hopefully we get a lot of incredible finds. Let's go and have a look. We've made our way to the beach where we are going to be searching for today's finds. At the end of the video, we've also got an incredible section of plesiosaur spine to show you. Well, it's safe to say the sea is very rough. Hopefully there are some finds waiting for us. We're gonna head straight down to the beach now and we'll have a look about. It's really exciting trekking down to the beach, just wondering what might be there to be found. We'll have a really good look and possibly come away with some amazing fossils. Just spotted our first fossil of the day. Just down here, you can see. Freshly exposed ammonite fossil. Look at that. That's literally just come out. Still covered in bits of grass and clay and shale. By the looks of it, it's the type of ammonite that will split open really, really easily without a hammer and chisel. Can't wait to open this one up. Let's look for some more. Absolutely loads of fresh clay that's here. Only the one ammonite fossil that we've managed to find so far. However, with lots of other pebbles and bits of the beach to look through, we'll undoubtedly find something else. Of course, either way, we're going to be seeing some incredible fossils towards the end of the video. Let's look through some of these pebbles next. Although the rough sea has exposed loads of these pebbles, there doesn't seem to be too many fossils about at the moment, but here's the first one we found, which is going to be absolutely pristine, hopefully. Uh, this little one contains a few partial ammonites. However, it's not probably worth opening this one up. So we'll leave that one there for someone else to find. It's an imprint of an ammonite there. It's not too bad. But again, I'll leave this for someone else to find. This might be a small, complete one. There we go. Again, that one will almost certainly open up really nicely. You can see the specimen is complete within this limestone rock. There's another nice big ammonite fossil. Another complete one. I've just seen another. I'll hold the camera still for a second and let you see if you can spot where this one is. Now it actually looks like the fossil I've just spotted is going to contain at least one ammonite, potentially two or three. It's in a longer nodule and should contain multiple fossils, hopefully. Can you see where it is? I'll get a bit closer so you can have a better look. This fossil is right here. Now, let's get down and have a better look. You can see there the perfect edge of an ammonite. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. That is such a big, complete ammonite. And I can't definitely see another fossil in this part of the rock. However, almost certainly there's going to be an ammonite sat here and there will be another one there. It's just none of it's showing yet. So this should be a lovely big double ammonite specimen. This is going to look brilliant when it's prepared. It's not worth opening this one up because as we know there's almost certainly two inside. If we tried to open it one of them would break. So we'll take this home exactly as it is. Really pleased with this find. I've seen a big piece of Jurassic tree. It's a nice big piece of limestone with some wood in it. Can you see where this piece of wood is? Quite an easy spot, but the fossil wood is right here. As you 
as you can see, it's a really sizable piece of wood. Certainly way too big to carry off just for a piece of wood and it's also really eroded as well but it's still a nice fossil to see just shows that there's lots of other fossils around here as well as ammonites there's a couple of other different finds here as well this rock here contains a very eroded bellumite fossil one of these squid-like creatures and right behind it we've got this a big block of crinoid. Having a closer look, we can see this block is filled with intricate structures that make up the crinoid fossil. Again, similar to the wood, it's in a pretty hefty look. Doesn't look too impressive now, albeit there's lots of fossils here, but if this was to be prepared or sectioned and polished it would look incredible. Let's have a closer look. A lot of the finer details have been worn off on this particular specimen but quite often these cross sections will look really impressive. And actually now that I've turned the block on its edge you can see there are some really lovely patterns on this side of the block. This is similar to what it would look like if it was sectioned and polished. just about make out some of the fine details of the fossil but again they are quite eroded although I'm pleased that we've managed to get to see some of these details not too bad we've found a great selection of finds so far and whilst I've been looking I found a large block of shale which I decided to open up. I'll show you it in just a moment and you'll soon see that this block of shale is filled with really impressive compressed ammonite fossils of all different shapes and sizes. Can't wait to show you this fossil. Overall, we found a variety of nice fossils there. The tide is coming back in, so I'm gonna have to head back. However, later on in the video, I'll be showing you one of our favorite finds, which we mentioned earlier on. We can't wait to show you it. Here's a look inside the shale. Look at that. All those perfect ammonite fossils. Piece of wood next to them, and then all of these compressed ammonites. On the other part, we have all of the imprints. It's literally split perfectly. I can't believe that this piece of shale contained all of these fossils. Pretty surreal. I'll show you a close up of them now as well. It's so impressive just how many fossils are preserved within this shale. This is without a doubt a fossil that would be really difficult to prepare and preserve. And therefore we'll be leaving this fossil down on the beach for other people to see as they come walking along. What a really nice piece of history. We've had a good look for some fossils there. Next up, let's open up that first ammonite which we found. 
Setting the rock down, we decided to open it using our hammer and chisel. It looked like the type of rock which should quite easily open using this method. Keeping it nice and still, we started using our chisel. You've of course got to be very careful, but we did manage to open it. And inside, let's see. We've got ourselves a perfect ammonite. That is so much better than even what I was expecting. I'm really, really pleased with this. That was probably one of our best finds of the day, depending of course how that lovely double specimen prepares. Next up, we're going to be having a look at the plesiosaur spine, which we mentioned earlier on. This section of vertebrae is really, really rare. These are articulated plesiosaur vertebrae with the neural spines still in place. Absolutely epic fossil. It's without a doubt one of our rarest sections of articulated vertebrae. And of course, when we prepare up other fossils like this in the future, we'll be sure to show you them. And there we have it. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing that fossil and like it as much as we do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We've been working away hard, making lots of videos over the past few months. There's plenty more fossil hunts to come.